Welcome to All For You Kiss Tarot. We are back again with another channel message for the collective. We are just going to jump right in and get started. We did have a couple of jumpers here. We have that uh, Eight of Wands in reverse. So a communication that's being held back. But then we have the Fool um, in the upright, which makes me think someone is just going to take a leap of faith. I feel like they might not reach out and kind of send you any type of message. They might just kind of show up. Um, and that's kind of what I'm getting. I think what they have in mind is some type of a commitment here with the Hierophant. So someone might be just kind of meeting up with you, kind of spur of the moment or deciding spur of the moment that they're just going to jump in and see if they can get something going with you. Um, I feel like they have good intentions. Um, and I feel like they're trying not to communicate about it first because they don't want you to say no before they have a chance to actually face-to-face -face kind of plead their case, if that makes any sense at all. So let's see what else Spirit has for the Gorgeous Collective. What do we have, Spirit? What's for the Collective? That's something. Yeah, this person wants to come out of their mind. Uh, I am seeing the tether. Um, I do feel like this person wants to come out of their head and start to uh, make really good decisions, um, well thought out decisions. I feel like they've had enough time being trapped in their mind about whether or not this is going to work. They don't want to be sitting here in that broken heart energy. And I feel like they're tired of staying in that energy. So maybe they've been kind of broken hearted over the situation. Um, no matter what that backstory is, I feel like it's heartbreaking to this person because um, obviously they're, they're separated from you. Yeah, they don't, yeah, they, they really do want the Ten of Pentacles with you. They want to create stability. They want to create longevity. I feel like maybe they've tried in the past and it just didn't turn out. Yeah, look, they really want to give that another go. They really want to give it a try. It's like, that's what they want for the future. They want that stability, that longevity. They want that really stable, loving family, that really tight-knit uh, group here. Um, and one that's really stable uh, in the energy. So, yeah, look, there's that opportunity. They want to offer that one more time and see if they can get that to kind of come back around. They're hoping you don't say no and reject the offer. Yeah, they really want to offer sweetness. It's this very solid offer is something that they want to give you because they have love to offer as well. It's like, but they're going to give you a very physical offer first. It could be a small gift um, for some. For others, it's going to be the physical, the physicality of them being there um, and creating the opportunity. They want to plant that seed with you. This could be happening very, very soon. We've got victory, but I want to put it on its side. I feel like they know that if they step forward, there's the opportunity for so many things to go wrong, but also the opportunity for everything to go right. And I hear if you don't leap, you'll never know. Um, so I feel like they're kind of riding into this battle and they're kind of doing so in that full energy. It's like, maybe I'm going to win today. Maybe I'm going to lose today, but I feel like either way, at least I'm going to know. Um, and I really like that energy. I like that brave. Um, they might be revealing some type of secrets, um, maybe about the past or about how they're feeling. This doesn't have to be someone you've had a really significant past with. This could just be someone who wanted to date you in the past, but never got up their brave to step forward. Um, this could be a past person. So it could be a newer person, could be a past person, could go either way. Um, yeah, I feel like they're, I feel like... Okay, I'm hearing in this particular situation with the star in reverse, normally when the star's in the upright, it's like there's a dream or a wish, but it could be far away. I feel like this person is looking to make that wish really close up. It's like looking to make that wish come true um, face to face or very, yeah, look, they know they can have emotional fulfillment with you. They know that they could be happy with you. Look at that. And they're ready for that commitment. They're going to offer some type of a solid... Uh, I feel like it's a, like a commitment from the jump, like, or a promise from the jump. It doesn't have to be a full-blown, like, 
um, hi, we just met and now we're dating and that's it, we're official. Um, I mean, it's more like making a commitment to, hey, it's just going to be me and you. This is kind of how I want to do it. It's like, are you okay with that? Is that is that good for you? And I feel like... Um, I feel like both of you are going to be on the same page when it comes to whatever this commitment is. Um, I am being drawn to the two people down here below. It's like they seem to be listening very intently on what the rules are of the situation. So I don't know if you and this person will discuss those types of things like, um, you know, what's good and what's a deal breaker and what's, you know, like really getting to know each other and seeing what the, you know... It's like setting the pace. That's kind of what I feel like. This person wants to set the pace with you. And so you're both on the same page. There's that very clear understanding of, you know, what seems like it's in the right and then what would absolutely be a no-no, right? Um, yeah, I feel like so nobody, I hear so nobody's grabbing straws in the dark. It's like they want kind of everything to be out there. So everything's very clearly seen. Both of you can make a very clear decision. It's like no more holding back is kind of what I'm getting from this. Yeah. I feel like they're trying to avoid a tower when it comes to you. I feel like if they make everything, you know, I feel like this person may even have some type of anxiety coming in. Could be, doesn't have to be, but I am kind of getting that energy. It's like if I very clearly know what the rules are and you very clearly know what the rules are, it's like then maybe nobody's going to get hurt in this situation. I feel like that's the last thing this person wants to do. They see you as a soulmate. They see you as being very sweet. And I feel like their fear causes them to think that there might be some type of breakdown or maybe that's the way it's gone in the past. It's like they neglected to say something and then that became the the deal breaker thing um, with the person that they were seeing. So, you know, it's just trying not to have a repeat of the past or of a bad experience or create a new one with you. I feel like they really see this as being something very special yeah, they've already made the choice that you're the one they want. That choice, that's completely done. It's like they've really done their research. And I feel like they really want to offer you that love. They already know that that's where they want that cup to go. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. They want that happiness with you. Yep. Stable, steady offer. And I feel like if the first one goes well, there'll be more well that where that came from to create even more stability. This person wants to grow with you. I see that pentacle sort of rolling into the future, but it's getting larger as it goes. Um, yeah, um, balance. They want to balance out the situation, create stability. Yeah, really gorgeous energy. Really, really gorgeous. Um yeah, I don't know. I guess they feel like having this with you would be justice uh, in this situation or um, I feel like a happiness in this situation, a fairness. They want to even everything out. I really love this. Um, I feel like this person has good intentions. I love to see that. Love to see that for the collective. So you might have someone really wonderful coming in very, very soon. Someone who wants to create peace and happy and harmony in this situation with you. Okay, all right, we're gonna pull out these romance angels. I haven't seen these cards in a while, but we're gonna see what spirit has. I was drawn to these. I feel like both of these are important. Of course, I'm holding it in reverse. Ugh. User error, okay. We have children and you deserve love. Okay, um, either you might have children or your person might have children. Um, whether or not you do or you don't, I feel like this is a separate message for a person that has children. I feel like you're worthy of love and you deserve love even if you are a single parent. It's like, I don't know why someone would assume that they're not worthy or maybe that they can't pull in the right type of lover who would love them and their children, but I can assure you they are out there and um, Spirit wants you to really stay optimistic, I'm sure. Um, yeah, new love is coming in for you. Um, so now whether the first part resonated or not, whether you have children or not, um, new love is definitely coming in. You could let your friends help you. You might meet someone new through friends. 
you might have some romantic feelings coming in for this person. Um, this may be one of those lightning strike, yeah, lightning strike type of energies. We've got that chemistry. I feel like you're wondering if this is true love, um, or you will be. Um, this is probably a past life soulmate. It does kind of feel like there's that type of energy here. Yeah, you might want to express your love with this person. Wow. Yeah, free yourself from those past negative thoughts. I feel like they're only holding you back. Um, just know that no matter where you are in your life or I feel like there is someone out there that's a great match for you. I really do feel like there is somebody for everybody. It's like some people I feel like they lose hope and they stop looking and they stop being open to it. I feel like that's the only way you're not going to have the love that you want is if you give up on it. And I feel like if you start to say, yes, there is somebody out there for me and they're coming my way, you know, keep putting that out there. My my right person is coming because I really do feel like they are. I feel like there's going to be a ton of chemistry and a ton of, yes, this is a soulmate coming in. Gorgeous energy. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love yourself first, yes. Make sure that you are uh, doing those self-care things for yourself, showing that love, compassion, kindness to yourself. Um and it's going to make you really attractive. Set those healthy boundaries. I feel like that's also something that makes um, someone extremely attractive. Um, you don't have to just settle for any type of behavior because you think that if this person doesn't, who, who knows if there'll be a next coming along. But that's not the way spirit wants you to see it. Spirit wants you to see that you are valuable. And if someone is not treating you um, as if they see your value, you got to let them keep walking because they're not the one, right? They're not the right one for you. Keep your standards where they're supposed to be. Um, very important. Yeah, it's safe for you to love. Um, you might be a little nervous about letting someone in or introducing someone to your children or um, if that's the case. I feel like don't worry about that right from the get-go. Um, if it's right and this person is right, you'll know whether or not to sort of allow them around your children, right? Um, I feel like you'll make a very informed decision. You don't have to jump into something with both feet. If this is the right person for you, they're not going to force you to rush into something. They're going to allow this to unfold naturally. Um, so drop all your worries and your fears at the door is what I hear. It's like, don't worry about all those things up front and first things first. It's like, just meet someone new. Um, start the conversation. Worry about the step you're on while you're on it. Don't jump so far ahead that you get overwhelmed because I feel like that's kind of what you're doing. You're worrying about everything in the in the far future before you even get a foot off the ground, right? Um, so we do have forgiving and learning in reverse, and I feel like that's the last one I want to take. Um, I feel like with this, I feel like Maybe you invited someone into your life uh, previously who didn't want to treat your children well or didn't treat you well. Um, forgive that person for um, acting the way they acted and leave that in the past. Forgive yourself for maybe making a mistake and allowing someone in who didn't have your best interest at heart, maybe even your children's best interest at heart. Forgive yourself. Learn from the situation and move forward um, with more confidence. I feel like Spirit's just saying, like, you have plenty of opportunities to find love out there. Um, you just have to stay open to it and know that you deserve that love. Yeah. Um, and definitely release that X energy if that's um, still there. Release your feelings about that situation or, or about those really rough situations. Maybe you need to do a little healing work um, to sit with yourself and really get your mind right before you step into something new. Okay, gorgeous energy, um, new possibilities all around. All right, we're going to hop into this deck. All right, I don't know if we're going to get a crazy story or not. We've got these message oracles. Um, so let's see. All right, Spirit, what do we have for this gorgeous collective? What do we have for the gorgeous collective? Ooh, a new chapter. 
I love this. A new chapter opening up. Right. I feel like you're coming out of that energy of feeling. I, I'm seeing a tether um, from the last reading to this one. Um, with that unworthy energy. Um, you're a better person than I am. Maybe someone made you feel or someone tried to make you feel down about yourself and you allowed them to do that to you, made you feel less than, made you feel unworthy of love or kindness or genuine affection. And I feel like this is a new chapter. Close the, maybe you even need to close the whole book on the last one and just hop into something new. I feel like you need to see your worth. You need to start creating healthy habits in your life and um, setting those healthy boundaries. And I feel like maybe this is, yeah, daydream up about how you want this life to go and start fresh, start new. Yes, self-love, gorgeous, gorgeous energy. Um, I really love this for you. Whoever you are, yes, you're mending, you're healing, you're stepping into that self-care, you're creating those healthy boundaries. Um, you're really setting yourself up for victory. I have to tell you, this is the recipe for victory. Yes, You've been through something tough or a bunch of tough things. You are resilient. You are strong. You are powerful. You are beautiful, masculine or feminine. Just know that spirit is saying it's time. It's time for you to create that winning recipe in your life so you can step forward confidently into things that are meant for you with people who are right for you, with those who see your value because you're going to see your value. You're not going to settle for less. You're not going to settle for the dishonesty. Um, yes, you'll understand everybody makes mistakes, but I feel like some mistakes you're going to learn to see are unforgivable. Um, and I feel like you'll make decisions accordingly. It's like no more rose colored glasses. If someone doesn't get it right or they refuse to get it right, it's like they, they want to apologize, but come in without change behavior. I feel like you're really going to make your, your cutoff game is going to be strong is what I hear. And I feel like that's exactly where it needs to be. Um, and I hear no more BS. So I'm so happy for you. I feel like you're really creating beautiful changes. People are going to realize that you're different. They're going to see it because it's that absence, your absence is going to be felt. You might even get a conversation or hear something about that. Um, and I feel like people are really going to be noticing. They might even be saying to you, you know what? You're looking really good. You, you look like you're feeling really good. And I feel like you're going to feel lighter. Um, I hear, yeah, a whole 150 pounds lighter. So I don't know if somebody dropped a certain person. <laughs> Um, but I feel like maybe that's what it's going to take. Maybe this person doesn't treat you right and you need to... Um, create some boundaries. Yeah, that person's going to be really confused. Um, I feel like they're just not going to understand. They might be one of those in and out people um, that really tries to, or maybe that created havoc in your life. Someone who's, you know, not stable and not reliable in the situation. Yeah, they might have said, oh yes, let's commit together. And then, you know, had been in and out. Um, whatever the situation in the past may have been, I feel like it could have been a third party. There's regret there for sure if it was. Um, and you're here you are saying, I need space. I need time to heal. I need to make things right for myself. I'm holding back. Um, but I feel like this is in a very healthy way. Um, yeah, you're waiting for reciprocity. I am so happy for you. I feel like you are really just setting yourself up for something really beautiful and committed and true and honest in the future. And I feel like it's hard to let people go. I get it. It really is, especially when it's someone you feel comfortable with. You may have been around this person for years and, and that's hard to do. I know it sounds easy when, when people say, oh, just cut them off, just cut them off. But, you know, it's not that easy. So I feel like you are really making those tough decisions but you're doing so because you love yourself and I freaking love that for you I think that's amazing yeah you are irreplaceable and I feel like there's going to be a lot of people who notice that too late um and that's okay that's part of their story um they may even try to paint you as the villain um for walking away when they say they still need you but they weren't consistent with you right um don't allow that to sway you. Uh, 
stand tall, stand tough, and uh, in your authenticity, and keep shining, um, keep doing you. You're going to, yeah, I hear the big reveal. I feel like you're going to be stepping out eventually, and people are gonna see you might even be getting to this point now. I am here in timeline. So you could be at this point where you're stepping out after all of this growth period. You're looking good. And I bet you, you've got new love coming in. Um, I feel like those of you who are ready and have done that healing work, you may have that person coming in very, very soon. You might have somebody chasing you. Really gorgeous energy. I love that. I love to see it. Congratulations for those of you who have done the work and congratulations to those of you who are just stepping into it. Wait until you see where you're going to end up. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's see. I have two more decks. I want this one. I want this one. Okay. All right, Spirit, what do we have for this gorgeous collective? The Sword and the Rose. Clarity and Truth. And the chaser. Mm. Um, I hear the truth to the rose. It's like um, the truth spoken to the soft and maybe in a soft way. You could have someone who... Now, I don't want to say this is a past person, but it could be for some. This could be a newer person and someone who's just starting to give chase. Um, I feel like they see you very clearly. I feel like they see... Um, I feel like they see the beauty of you and I'm not just saying the way you look I mean like you know beauty is that all-around type of term yeah I feel like they see uh, this person may be stepping forward whoever they are new or old to express some type of love they could be sending you a text message so um, and could be quite soon as well they could feel a really beautiful soul bond with you this could be a twin flame divine soul counterpart coming back around they may be sending you a message soon um, I feel like they see you really giving to yourself and I feel like that's really inspired this person. I feel like they really see, I hear a change in you. So I feel like this change is just self-love. Um, so it's almost piggybacking off of the last read, but, um, I feel like spirit is really just pushing forward that, you know, this is the month of love and we all want to you know, hop into something really beautiful with someone, you know. Um, but I feel like don't knock that self-love too. That This is a month of self-love as well. It's like only accepting things that feel right for you, that are good for you, that are healthy for you, that respect your boundaries. And I feel like, um, I feel like somebody's mask is going to fall off. I feel like they're allowing the mask to slide down. I feel like they almost want to indulge in your energy. I feel like your energy is just that glorious. It's, I hear it's that yummy. It's like, I don't know what it is. It's sweet. It's, it's got depth to it. And I feel like, yeah, I hear soft place to land. This person just kind of wants to fall into you. And I'm hearing crash into me. So, um, in song form. So I feel like someone just wants you to open up and allow them to sort of um, come on in. And I feel like they want an end to a type of se separation. So this could be a past person or this new person wants to close the gap and um, get rid of the distance in between. Um, you guys could be sitting right next to each other and have emotional distance. You know what I mean? So it's like whatever that distance is or distance within the mind or the heart, I feel like this person wants to close that gap with you. Yeah, they see you as the healthy choice. Um, I feel like this person sees that they could thrive under your love and care. Um, and I feel like they feel that they could give that uh, in return to you, which is really, really gorgeous. Um, I feel like they could shield you. Um, I feel like they could shield you from the storms of life or they, yeah, they want to be that soft place for you too. It's like, I don't know if you have been this person's soft place to land or they see you as being that type of person. I feel like they really want to give this a try. Let's see. Yeah, the runner. I don't know. Maybe they feel like you're a type of runner in this situation. Or they could have been a runner in the past. 
there's a ton of passion in this. I Yeah, insane chemistry, sparks flying. I feel like they really wanna, they wanna either rekindle this or they wanna get it started. I hear, get it popping. So um, they may have cut ties with someone in the past so they can move towards you or very recently so, because they have uh, moving in your direction uh, in mind. I feel like this person is ready. I don't know if they were coming from, so I hear something of convenience. So that's for who it's for. It's like they may have been living with someone because they couldn't afford to move just yet or something like that. I don't feel like maybe it was a friends with benefits. I don't know. I hate that term, but yuck. Anyway, um, so we have butterfly energy. So evolving growth. I feel like they just see that they could have that here. Um, maybe in the past they felt that they had to kind of hide what they were thinking, hide what they were feeling, but I feel like they feel that they don't have to be that way when it comes to you. Um, they don't have to keep that mask on. They don't have to hold that poker face. It's like if they're having a bad day and they need to kind of cry a few tears, whether it's masculine or feminine, I feel like they know they could trust you with that. You wouldn't go off and em embarrass them by blabbing it this way or that way. I feel like you are that safe place or that soft place to land. And I feel like that's really something that's so valuable that they don't see it anywhere else or they haven't found it out, out there anywhere. Golden mirror, narcissist, love bombing, self-absorbed, one-sided. I think they're just kind of hoping that this isn't a one-sided thing. Um, I don't think anybody's dealing with a narcissist in this particular situation. I feel like this has um, love and depth of emotion written all over it. I feel like it's kind of like the opportunity for if it's not already existing. Um they might invite you out for a cup of coffee or a few drinks or just meeting up to talk. There doesn't have to be food or drink involved. Um, but I feel like, yeah, building that friendship, starting that connection, grounding this situation, um, making it secure. Yeah, they want a phoenix. I, I feel like they really want to get this passion started. They want to get those flames pumping in this situation. Um, really gorgeous. This could be happening very, very soon. This could be one of those, I saw a lightning strike in my mind, so this could be very, very soon. This could show up out of the blue and happen for you. This could happen as soon as today. Um, really love that. Fun. All right, we have one more deck. I am going to take one little sip. Almost all the way better. Thank goodness. All right, let's see, Spirit, what do we have? I feel like that is important. Be present, yes, be present in this situation. Take your power back. Mm. All right, so somebody out there may need to be, um, I hear aggressive person is what I heard. So you may need to, this could be someone that you love and care about, but they could be going through something. Um, I kind of get someone going through an emotional situation or something emotional, and they may be taking it out on you. Please, please, please set your boundaries. Even if this is someone that you love, you might have to speak up if they're mistreating you, or they might not even realize that they're kind of taking it out on you without kind of explaining to you what's going on. Um, take your power back in that situation if that's for you. Um, you have to be the one to set the standard for the way people treat you. If you allow people to mistreat you or mishandle you, it will not be just once that they do that. It will become a habit. So um, set those firm boundaries right from the get, straight out the gate. So first time something like that happens, set those healthy boundaries. Um, you can keep the door open to this person. Like I said, I feel like this is someone that you love that is going through some harsh energy. Um, you could just express to this person that you're here for them if they need to unload, if they need to talk, if they need to be um, just having that time to cry over it, um, whatever it is. Um, I feel like you can let that person know that you're there for them, but, you know, they have to be respectful of you at the same time. It's like you won't settle in a situation where um, you're not being valued and um, 
everything should be on the up and up. You should be, yeah, set those healthy boundaries. Open yourself to the love, but set those healthy boundaries. I feel like this is, um, I hear a tightrope. So it's like, it's learning how to maneuver in situations like this. Um, like I said, I feel like this is someone you love and this is someone that had previously hadn't um, maybe treated you in this way. Um, I do feel like it is something... I don't know if it's a loss or a setback or it could be loss with a family member or a job or um, some type of stability. I feel like this person is stressed to the breaking point. Um, so I know you know that, but it is still no reason to suffer um, in, in that toxicity. It, it's no reason that you should have to be hurt by that, right? You could hurt with your person, um, you know, feel their pain and support them as they're going through whatever this loss or this hurt is. Um, keep those boundaries. Yeah, stay optimistic. I feel like things will get better. Um, I feel like with time, whatever this is, you know, life goes on and uh, people heal, you know. And I feel like with a person like you by their side, um, they have every opportunity to heal. I feel like they're just utilizing you in the wrong way. It's like you're, you don't need to be there to be the punching bag, sweetie, or I want to say sweetie or honey, um, whether you're masculine or feminine. You, you can be there for the moral support, but you're nobody's punching bag and you're nobody's doormat. Remember, remember, remember. Keep that very firm. Set those healthy boundaries. Uh, open your eyes. Yeah, see with clarity. See what is. Don't keep the rose-colored glasses on. It's like... I know we understand why this person may be acting out in harsh ways. You might even know what the situation is. Um, and yes, it's okay to be understanding, but that state of allowance when it comes to that kind of toxic behavior with somebody lashing out at you or mistreating you in any way, that the buck stops there, like right then and there. First, first time, one and done. <laughs> no more after that, okay? Um, yeah, it'll keep that balance there. Yeah. And no matter who this person is to you, I did see the twin flame card. So, um, you can't ruin what's meant for you. Okay. Um, especially if you're acting now. Okay. You can slow things down. So if you're acting in terrible behavior, you can slow things down and maybe even, uh, create blocks with what you want. Um, but what I'm saying is if you're acting, um, you know, with the best intentions and everything that you're doing is on the up and up. I feel like you can't ruin something that's meant for you, right? I feel like this person would have to take time out to think about their actions. And even if that takes some time, so be it. Um, you don't deserve to be mistreated. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like there will be understanding and a deepening of this connection. For some of you, this just may be someone who lashed out on you because they were hurting about something else. Um, it could be a one and done situation, but I do feel like don't allow it to go unaddressed. I feel like Spirit's saying it's like engage with your partner and really communicate. Um, yeah, so you can leave those fears behind because this needs to be a safe, health, happy, healthy environment for you, uh, not just this person, right? Um, you should be sheltering sheltering your person and they should be sheltering you. That's how it goes. It's not just one. Um, you got to make sure this is, yeah, unconditional love. Um, yeah, stay optimistic. I feel like, yeah, unbreakable love. I do feel like you're worried that if you speak out that it will ruin what you have with this person. But Spirit's saying, no, no, no. We have to... Um, do right by ourselves. You know, if someone was treating your person that way, wouldn't you speak out, right? You need to be the same way about yourself. You need to, um, you know, go to bat for yourself when you need to. I feel like that's super important. I know you're loving, you're kind. You're probably someone that doesn't love to get into any type of altercation. I get that. Um, but sometimes we do need to speak up and it's really super important that we do. Okay. So that's for who it's for. All right. Let's pull some letters and some numbers. I do see myself kind of pouring. So this could be different things for a lot of different people. Um, um, you. 
Somebody might feel like they owe you an apology because I just kind of sang owe oh, you. Um, and I heard they owe you an apology or they might feel like they owe you something. Um, somebody might be coming in to kind of make amends. They might bring, some, I keep being drawn to the candies today. So I kind of feel like they want to bring some, some type of sweet gesture. It doesn't have to be chocolates or candy. It could be, I don't know, um, a little something that shows that they were thinking about you um, kind of thing. Could even be a card or a letter. Could be something that... Um, you know, just what they were thinking about you or an expression of feelings or um, an I'm sorry and this is what I was going through or what I was feeling. Could be something like that. Um, I do hear love letter. So for some, there could be a love letter coming. I don't know if somebody just pops a love letter in your mailbox um, and kind of, oh, wow, I'm seeing something really cute. Okay, so Spirit says spit it out. So uh, <laughs> I'm seeing um, someone... Like, you have a secret admirer, and I see some flowers left on your front step. And then, you know, maybe just a, um, it says two, and then it says your name collective. And then, um, but not who it's from. And it just says something like, enjoy it, or, or hope you like it, or, you know. And then, you know, maybe the next day something different comes. And, um... It's just like someone's kind of leading up to exposing the fact that it's them that really cares for you. I really think it's so adorable. Somebody out there is going to really have fun because I think it's going to be a really exciting and um, sweet experience. I really love that. Okay. K, E, D, and E could be significant. Wow. Somebody out there is going to really have fun. All right. Okay. I hear what about me? I don't know. Yeah, some type of transformation. I feel like somebody almost keeps saying, you know, I don't even want love anymore. I don't even want love anymore. I feel like you've had so many toxic experiences. It's like it's fun to hear about and you wish that could be you. But at the same time, it's almost like I feel like you're in this position where you don't even want to try or attempt to allow something in because every time you do, it just turns into something very uh, low-lying, toxic. Um, I feel like you do have love coming in and Spirit is asking you to make sure you're doing the healing work for yourself so that way you're drawing in uh, higher level vibrational people, um, more people who are in tune. It's like you're almost manifesting your fears, right? Um, I feel like after one bad experience, sometimes we tend to manifest a few more after that because we're like, oh my God, that first time it turned out so bad. I hope the next one doesn't do the same. And then our mind kind of harp on that and it becomes this energetic that builds so if you start with your ims and you do your mantras or you could just say something along the lines of I have healthy love coming in for me. I'm so happy. I'm so thankful for the healthy love that's coming towards me or the healthy love that I can call my own. Um, and, and you will start to manifest and see the change in that. You really do have to just change what's in your mind about love situations and how they could possibly pan out for you. I feel like that's the block and it's something that you've almost put in place because Spirit's like, there's plenty of love to be had. It's just... Um, the focus of this particular particular person um, is manifesting the negative because overly focused on negative outcomes of the past. Um, so transform that. Spirit saying you can easily transform that. Um, you know, if you do that for a few weeks, you could even write it down and post it up on a wall or on a mirror somewhere where you're going to see it. I don't know, in your little cubicle at work. I don't know. Um, but just where you're going to see it, an I am that reminds you of what you're trying to pull in, okay? Or put something in your pocket or your wallet. Um, just intention is super important. I feel like you'll really start to create a lot of change and movement. It's going to feel like a whole new life within a life. I feel like once you start really getting that ball rolling in energetically in the right direction, um, yeah, you might have a lot of people waiting on the outskirts to come in and be part of that web. I feel like a lot of people see the beauty in you 
um, whether masculine or feminine, they see how valuable you are and how wonderful it would be to be in closer proximity to you. Perhaps you have some energetic boundary that's kind of around you because you suffer through a certain amount of toxicity. You create an emotional boundary. It's not one vibrationally that you can see, but I feel like spirit's letting you know it's there. You're going to have to break that down um, through your intentions to create openness and the new, right? Um, I feel like you're going to start shining very, very soon. If you're not already, I feel like some of you um, are shining. Some of you are manifesting that forever person that says forever on here with the star. Um, some of, okay, that's a separate one. I feel like everyone is steering in that right direction. I feel like for this particular person, I feel like this will steer you in the right direction. It's like steering yourself towards victory. It's like being put in the line of everything that's good that's coming for you. I just heard putting in the limelight as well. So I don't know if someone has some level of fame coming in. Um, I don't know if you're going to be recognized. You're going to be noticed. I don't know if somebody's going to be... I don't know, putting you out there, your content, your photos. Um, I don't know what it is, but I feel like someone's going to boost you. Um, someone's going to be like putting you out there um, or putting your name out there because they like what you do or they like how you look or they like how your voice sounds or um, they see your acting skills. It's, it's something that's going to put you in the limelight. Whatever your talents are, I feel like someone's about to get discovered. Um... And I feel like it's going to steer you um, in the right direction or the direction that you're hoping to go in. So I don't know. For some, I hear a new direction entirely. So this might this superstardom might come as a surprise um, to you. I feel like you might not even be steering in that direction, but all of a sudden the wind changes and the you know you're you're on a new course to some type of fame. Um, that could be manifesting for someone, I want to say, in the next two weeks. I don't know if, um, like, a talent agency is going to see you or uh, it could be different for everyone. But I am seeing um, you could be known for something that you do on a small scale that blows up really big um, really, really fast. So um, that could be different for all of It could be someone's art. I don't know if someone's art is just going to be put out there and all of a sudden it's going to be worth tons and tons of money because so many people are going to want that art or those original art pieces. Um, keep creating. Keep uh, doing what you do because I feel like, and you know, I feel like I don't even have to say that. I feel like you are literally just being authentically yourself and that is going to put you, um, I hear, in the running for everything. Um, amazing. Okay, that is what I have for you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.